And let's uh, consider a flow in a pipe uh, that is uh, attached to a tank. So we have um, uh, some fluid uh, filled in the tank, let's say water. And uh, uh, let's uh, examine what's happening to the velocity of the fluid as it begins to move into this uh, pipe. Right at the entrance, um, the velocity of the fluid is going to be fairly constant along the cross-section of the pipe. And we express that by using arrows. The length of the arrow is the magnitude of the velocity, and uh, the arrow itself tells you the direction. So if the velocity in the cross-section of the pipe is the same, uh, is constant, then we can draw these arrows uh, equal length, uh, all pointed towards the right, to show that the velocity is constant as it as the fluid enters this pipe. Now as the fluid begins to move in this pipe towards the right hand side, we know from our uh, earlier concept we had considered the uh, no slip boundary condition that the fluid right at the internal surface uh, of the pipe uh, is actually sticking to it so it is not moving. So as we move along this right hand side of the pipe at some location we can uh, see that the velocity will be zero at the surface, the inside surface, so the length of the arrow is a zero, but then it begins to increase as we consider the inside uh, cross-section of the pipe. So we draw these arrows and uh, we, this is our velocity profile. As we move further towards the right-hand side, this uh, profile begins to develop uh, as the velocity is uh, higher in the central part of the pipe compared to as you move toward in the radial direction to the periphery of the inside pipe. So a profile begins to develop uh, with the velocity high in the center of the pipe and then reducing uh, to zero at the inside surface. So you can see uh, from this diagram that the velocity profile of the fluid in the pipe changes from as the fluid enters to somewhere towards the right hand side. This region where the profile is developing into this parabolic shape is called the entrance region. This is where the fluid is entering the pipe and uh, the velocity profile is developing uh, from a flat profile right at the entrance to a parabolic profile. But once it develops this parabolic profile, then along the further length of the pipe, it remains in parabolic shape. We call this region on the right hand side as fully developed flow. And the, uh, this length uh, for the entrance region, if we call it LE, and if the diameter is capital D, then it has been shown experimentally that LE over D equals 0 0.06 times Reynolds number, uh, and we call NRE as Reynolds number, uh, and this is the way to calculate the entrance region or the length of pipe where the velocity profile is still developing into a parabolic shape. Uh, this expression is good for laminar flow. However, if you have uh, turbulent conditions, then the expression to determine the entrance region is LE over D equals 4.4 times Reynolds number raised to power 1 over 6. Uh, and uh, we can use either of these two expressions depending on whether we have laminar conditions or turbulent conditions to find out uh, how far along the pipe is the entrance region and then beyond that it will be fully developed flow.